Hi everyone and happy Tuesday. I am in a different spot and position right now. I'm actually traveling in a trailer. So if that isn't a good clue to how easy this recipe is going to be, I don't know what it is. But anyway, happy Tuesday. My name is Amherst. I'm one of the nutrition interns here at Rebecca Bitzer and Associates. And today is a special day, March 23rd. Yeah, there might be birthdays, you might have an anniversary, you know, there might be other reasons why today's a special day for you. But today is a special day because it is National Chia Seed Day. Yes, I'm learning that there are days for almost anything you can think of. <laughs> um, so when I say chia seeds, you might be thinking of like the clay pots that you used to put chia seeds and they'd grow and you'd have like this green carpet. We're gonna be, those are chia seeds, yeah, but we're gonna be talking about chia seeds when you eat them and why they're so great. Um, but we're gonna be getting into the benefits a little later on, but first we're gonna get into our recipe and then get into some of the health benefits. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around too because at the end in the comments, I will be putting in a free resource for diabetes to help manage your blood sugar in the comments. So be sure to stick around for that. So, um, what we're going to be need so what we're making today is it's called chia seed pudding so maybe you've heard of it maybe you haven't maybe you're a little skeptical but believe me it's really good so uh what we're going to be needing you're going to i'm actually going to be because i am in a trailer and i have a small refrigerator i'm going to be making it in a plastic bag but you can make this in a regular bowl in a little separate mason jars it's up to you um so to my little bag i'm going to be ha adding half a cup of milk or dairy alternative if you want to use almond milk, oat milk, um, whatever your preference is. I'm going to add half a cup of that and then to that we're going to be adding our chia seed. So another great thing about chia seed pudding is that it is low sugar and high in fiber. So we're going to be adding two tablespoons of chia seed. Ooh, you can't see my plastic bag very well. There it is. Um, two tablespoons of chia seeds here. And this is diabetes friendly because of like the amount of fiber in it. Uh, chia seeds are high in protein, which we'll get to later. Um, and it's also low sugar, uh, low carbohydrate, fairly low carbohydrate. So um, then we're going to be adding oops, our sweetener. I have, you can use sugar or your sweetener of choice. I'll be using maple syrup and I'm just going to be adding about a teaspoon of this. Okay, and then just a dash of vanilla. So here's our lovely vanilla, give that a shake. And then just a dash, there we go. So this is just those four ingredients, that's the sort of base for the chia seed pudding. Uh, to this, you can add, you can make it whatever way you want. You can add cocoa powder to make it chocolate, you can add cinnamon, uh, a mashed banana, peanut butter, just be aware of like the milk you use and what you add to it uh, will affect the total carb amount. So if you're going to add a banana, factor that into that it's going to raise the total carb amount if you're trying to watch your blood sugar. Um, to this one, I am going to be adding a mashed banana. I mashed this earlier. So we're just going to put that in there, all mashed. And now this is the fun part. If you were in a regular kitchen, kitchen you'd have this in a bowl most likely and be stirring this up. But now we're just gonna mix this all up. Now it does seem very liquidy, but these chia seeds are going to expand a lot. So then you're gonna take this and you're going to put this into uh, the refrigerator. And let that, so unfortunately, even though it's a super easy recipe, recipe to make, you can't enjoy it right away. You need to let it sit in the refrigerate, refrigerator for two to three hours or overnight. So make it one night and then you wake up and it's ready to eat and it's great. Um, so we're going to put that aside and let that sit. But yesterday, let me reach over, I made some chocolate chia pudding. So you see, this is how, how much the chia seeds absorbed. It's basically a solid, right? Um, so now we have our chocolate chia pudding. Of course, I'd use chocolate. I was thinking of adding cho cocoa powder to that banana one, but I thought, you know, that's maybe too much chocolate. So uh, for ease of use, I'm just going to cut the tip off of this and we're going to pour it out, get that little plastic out, pour it out. <laughs> 
It doesn't look very appetizing, but believe me, especially if this is if you're trying to watch your blood sugar, this is a great alternative to um, regular chocolate pudding, and it has so many health benefits. It's kind of crazy. Um, oops. <laughs> Um, yeah, so chia seeds have, they're basically, a, they are an amazing superfood. Um, we're going to get into that a little bit. So that's a, there's still some left in here, but I'll clean that out later. And then the fun part are, of course, the toppings. So here I have some raspberries and, um, strawberries. So I'm just going to put this on top of my pudding like so, but you can top with the mini chocolate chips, nuts, walnuts, um, coconut shredded coconut um you know whatever you sort of like on top of your pudding usually so there we go now before i enjoy this let's talk oh i still have some chia pudding on my finger that's um before we uh before i enjoy this little chocolate pudding uh, we're going to talk about why they're so amazing so number one chia seeds are really high in omega-3s Per gram, they're comparable. They, per gram, they actually have more omega threes than salmon, which is pretty amazing given that it's a plant food. Uh, and omega threes are just important because they can help. They're really important for heart health. Um, they help sort of keep the plaque away from building up in your arteries. And usually, most Americans are low in their omega three fatty acids. So, more chia seeds, more omega threes. They're also one of the seeds with the highest amount of proteins protein. They're up there with flax seeds and sunflower seeds and hemp seeds. Um, and in this, this is in this serving, there's about nine grams of protein, which is really awesome. Uh, and then fiber, you know, right now this is all liquidy, but chia seeds, a fancy word is hydrophilic, meaning that they just attract water. So these chia seeds are going to expand as you saw and absorb all that water that process and all the fiber they have is super great for your digestive health and keeping you regular. They're also high in antioxidants. So I know I feel like that's a kind of almost a buzzword now, um, but antioxidants are super important for fighting the free radicals in your body. So free radicals are just particles in your body um, that can build up and they can affect, they can increase your likelihood of uh, getting cancer or other diseases later down the line. So the more antioxidants, the fewer free radicals, the better. So again, more chia seeds. Uh, they're also high in calcium, B vitamins, uh, magnesium, zinc, calcium, I think I already said that. <laughs> um, but they're just, they offer so much in a little, a little seed. So um, if that, so that, that's all I have to say about chia seeds. That's kind of a quick rundown. Hopefully your eyes have been opened to how amazing uh, these little seeds are. And maybe, you know, you'll be, if you don't have them already in the home, you'll, you'll think, oh my goodness, I can get so much from these little seeds. Maybe I'll buy some when I go to the grocery store again. Or you have them in your house already. You can make chia seed pudding or just add them to your smoothie or add them to your yogurt. Um, figure out, you know, try new recipes to fit them in because they are definitely a great addition um, to your diet since all those things that I talked about are super important for your body. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, and like I said, um, right after I finish here, I will be putting that free resource for diabetes, um, managing your blood sugar in the comments or in the description. And um, also I'll be putting a link for our diabetes support group on Facebook called Living Confidently with uh, Diabetes. If you're interested in joining that, I will also be putting that in the comments or description. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go enjoy it. Doesn't this look tasty? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy this. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time. Bye guys.